<laughs> Scott, your cat is on top of your head on the record. <laughs> All right, we're back. Episode 11, uh, Dynasty Trades in 5. I'm Clay with Dynasty Pandemic and Dynasty Trades in 5. I'm Shane with Dynasty Trades in 5, Dynasty Trades HQ, Mannequin Chill, and uh, Fantasy Intervention. Scott, Dynasty Trades in 5, Dynasty and Chill, Mannequin Chill, Chasing the Helmet. Let's go. Let's roll. So we're talking about a, a sexy name today, Kirk Cousins. That's who we're going for. Please still watch this video if you're here. Thank you. Thank you. You do care about Kirk Cousins. All right, Shane, let's pass it over to you because you love him. So get us started. Well, I don't think I love him, but I, I do love the value. And I do love that a lot of people share their stupidity in fantasy football when they don't want Kirk Cousins. And they talk about him like he's Baker Mayfield, um, like we were talking about off air. Well, no, they're basically the same guy. You know, he's like a low end QB2. And you're like, no, he's never been a low end QB2 in his career, like except for the time he was on the bench in Washington and he wasn't playing. OK, but outside of that, the guy's always a low end QB1. Um we're talking about he throws up dog games every once in a while, and that's going to happen. Um, but he's a guy that I, I love getting in leagues because no one likes him, and you can always get him at a reasonable price because no one likes him because no one likes him. No. So we, we were talking before the show started, like you're fine pivoting down from a from a DAC down to a Cousins if you're getting some big pieces on top. Like you're not, you're not scared to move from a DAC to a Cousins. No, if okay. I could get – yeah, if you want to give me Cousins and – well, not a running back because I'm scared of running backs now. But if you want to give me um, Dak and – or excuse me, Cousins and a wide receiver, uh, I'm go with that move. Um, I don't what, know like, a, like a Claypool tier or would you need yeah. something higher than that? No, Claypool's fine. Claypool could yeah. actually make it work. I, I think I'd prefer Deontay Johnson um, just because Claypool was uh, on the bench again this week. Uh, had to get taken to the locker room. Um, so now I'm scared about his injuries and Deontay Johnson's played two weeks in a row. So his health is great. Right. Scott, so yeah, no, that tier is fine. Scott, what do you think? Well, if you go back since 2015, Kirk Cousins, quarterback, 13, 8, 8, 13, 15. Last year, quarterback 12 in points per game. This year, quarterback 10. So, I mean, if that's not consistency, I don't know what is. And he doesn't run. You know, he had an 8% rushing rate last year, so he's not running. So you already know that. You already kind of know exactly what he is. And I think what's depressed his value over the last couple of years has just been two things. One, the, the narrative that the Vikings are a run first team. Now, the Vikings like, if the Vikings can run the ball, they have a bell cow running back. If that bell cow running back's healthy, sure, they want to give that guy 25 touches. And they probably don't want Kirk Cousins to throw it 45 times. But that doesn't always work. Uh, Cousins has averaged over 37 pass attempts a game over his last 20 games. So it's not low volume. The intent might be low volume, but you know, the, it's not like the Vikings are rolling out there 14 and three, you know, 15 and two, and they're just dominating with the run. Uh, they, they're kind of stuck right now to where they have to win through the air. And so, you know, that's part of the reason that they've got so much out of Justin Jefferson too. I think these efficient quarterbacks elevate the receivers more so than we probably want to admit. Like Justin Jefferson's a great talent, but Kirk Cousins has supported Diggs, Thielen, Jefferson. You know, he's supported these receivers. It's not just one of those guys elevating him. Like he's supported the receivers. So, you know, the other thing is that people just assume he's going to get replaced. Like he's not good enough to win a Super Bowl, so he sucks. He's going to get benched. He's not going to be a starter in the NFL. Not getting replaced by Kellen Mond. Kellen Mond will not start for the Vikings in 2022. The Vikings will not try to trade Kirk Cousins because they don't want to pay him. Like, they're not going to be in better shape if yeah. they get rid of him. So, you know, it, honestly, he's no different. He's probably like 10 to 20% discounted Tom Brady over the next year or two. People are easily paying a first for Tom Brady if you're competing. Yet, Kirk Cousins, you could get four or five years out of him, you know? And maybe you don't get Tom Brady numbers, but you get 85, 90% of that. So, I just... I've so sold a lot in the past, but I think I'm still willing to now buy and kind of ride it out more than I would have before. So, so what are you paying? Obviously, you'll do a 2022 first if you're if you're contending. What would you throw on top of a of a 22 first to, to get Cousins? Any position? Well, I mean, I think the it depends on if you have to add a quarterback back. I haven't been able to buy for a single first. I think that's just due to the scarcity of quarterbacks. People realize, hey, you know. There's not as many quarterbacks that are good as I thought. And so I'm not going to give him up for a random first at the no. same time. You know, I'm not paying two firsts. I'm no. not paying a first and 
Mac Jones or a first and a younger quarterback that's not producing. Like I'm not giving up almost two firsts equivalent to get Cousins, uh, but I definitely think that if you add in another quarterback, like someone Jimmy that's kind of just placeholder, like Jimmy, Jimmy G, first, yeah. yeah, Taylor Heineke, Roethlisberger, like a deal might like that might appeal to somebody that thinks, oh, Cousins isn't that good. I'm going to be able to get at least a fill-in starter for the rest of the year, and I get a first rounder. I'll do that. You know, the past me would have considered that deal. So I think you have to just pay a first plus whatever the other person wants to do.